Hello friends, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in this video, we will be discussing about the lab assignment number 4 for object oriented programming that is OP of second year information technology. So the lab assignment number 1, 2 and 3 are already covered in the previous video. So links are given in the description as well as in the i button. You can check out those videos. Also the link of our telegram channel is mentioned in the description. You can join the telegram group for internship updates, or drive off campus drive updates, coding contest study material and many more so and now we'll move to the actual lab assignment number four so before that if you are new to the channel please subscribe the channel so now we'll move to the assignment number four so i'll open my ide that is eclipse and here i'll create my new project so i'll right click and from here i'll go to new project java project and click on next i'll give the name of my project as assignment underscore 4 and I'll hit enter so now my project is created so now if I click on this arrow I'll have src folder so inside this we have the module info so I'll delete that you can directly create the class inside this also but I am creating it inside my src folder so new and then java class the name of my class will be the same as that of my file name so my file name is assignment underscore 4 dot java you can write or you can skip that okay. so now my class is created now here i'll paste the problem statement so which will be easy for us to implement the assignment so it is assignment 4 problem statement and then I will copy this statement so basically this assignment is regarding the dynamic binding or runtime polymorphism so now we will take a look at our problem statement and we will execute the assignment step by step so the problem statement is design a base class shape the name of our class is shape with two double type values and member functions to input the data and compute area for calculating area of shape derive two classes triangle and rectangle make compute areas abstract function and redefine this function in the derived class to suit their requirements write a program that accepts dimensions of triangle or rectangle and display calculated area so implement dynamic binding for given case study so now we'll split this problem statement into different parts and we'll execute or perform this assignment stepwise. So the first part will de divide this from here to here. Okay, so first is design a base class shape. So we have to create a shape class which will have two double type values is nothing but variables. So which will have the data type as double and member functions to input the data and compute area for calculating area of shape. So compute area and the second method for inputting the data is your member functions or the functions which are inside your shape class. Okay, so they haven't uh, given the name what you have to give for your input uh, method. So we'll uh, have that method as input name. Okay, for the name for that method is input and second is compute area. So now we'll create our base class shape. So I'll create your class shape and inside this we have to create two double type values so which is nothing but double uh, which will have the data type as double so here we will write value underscore one so which will have one value and second value will have value two value two okay so you can write the value two in front of this also because they are both are of same type so you can write like this also okay but i'll writing it in separately Okay, so value 1 and value 2 have taken now we have to create the member functions first is to input the data and second compute area so the uh, compute areas they have given the name for that method so for input we'll take it as void input void is nothing but the return type of my method and this is my first input method second we have to create is the compute compute underscore area method okay so we have created two methods here return type is missing void okay the next we have to derive two classes which is triangle and rectangle so we have to derive two classes which means 
this triangle and rectangle classes are the child or the children so far this shape class okay so that we have to create here and here the uh, inheritance concepts comes into picture so here i'll write class triangle extends my shape class okay so this is nothing but in this way we derive the class okay the second class is rectangle so class rectangle extends shape okay so we have completed till here of our problem statement okay now next we have to make compute area as abstract function so this method we have declared it as just a public or a void so we have to declare it as a abstract method so for that i'll write here abstract keyword which will make this method as an abstract so now you have to remember one thing that if you include any method which is abstract then the class for that method will also be the abstract so i'll make it as abstract okay so abstract class shape and here i have created the abstract void compute area method and this is your regular method okay after this it is giving me the error because whatever the abstract methods you are creating that should be implemented in each of the derived classes so also abstract means that you don't write the method body you just declare the method okay so for declaration of method how we do it just we'll write the abstract keyword then return type of your method the name of your method and the uh, parenthesis and if they have parameters you can mention them inside this and just semicolon okay so you don't have to write the curly braces because the implementation of this method will be done in the derived classes okay so this is for our shape class then second is to write a program that accept dimensions of triangle and rectangle and display calculated area so that will accept inside our this input method so for that i'll now write some statements which will have the input so i'll write here system dot out dot print ln and here i'll write uh, enter value one enter value one okay so now we are using this same method to take the input for your triangle as well as for the rectangle okay so here before that i have to accept the input so i'll I have to write the scanner class object so before creating the object i have to import it right so for that i'll import your import java dot util dot scanner okay and now i'll create the object of my scanner class scanner system dot in okay so now my object is created now using this object i'll store the values inside my this double uh, variables so here i'll write value one value underscore one is equal to sc the name of our scanner object dot next double our variables are of double type so we'll be accepting the double uh, data type values similarly we'll accept the second value and here i'll make it as print so because i want the values to be accepted in front of this statement itself then here i'll write enter value 2 and here i'll change the name of my variable as value underscore 2 okay so in this way we have accepted the input from the user for value 1 and value 2 so now these values we are going to use to calculate the area of a triangle and rectangle okay so this is only for your shape class this much of the code only you have to do for your shape class now we'll move to our triangle class so in triangle class we have to write or implement uh, write the code for this compute area okay so for this i'll write compute area the written type should be written which is void then it is not having any parameters okay so because that we are taking inside uh, by calling our input method okay. so here we have to just calculate the area so for that i'll create one variable which is double area and then here i'll calculate the area of my triangle so now area will be equal to how we calculate the area of triangle so basically we need two parameters first is the base of triangle okay so i'll make it as here this formula for area 
of triangle so we need the base and height and the formula is half which is 1 by 2 into base into height okay half into base into height this half you can uh, replace it with 0 0.5 also 0 0.5 okay so the standard formula is 1 by 2 okay so now we will write that formula here so 1 by 2 into base so base is nothing but our value 1 okay because we are using the same values for the rectangle and triangle area calculation so value 1 into value the score 2 okay so this will give me the area of my uh, triangle so now i'll just display that so here i'll write system dot out dot print ln and then inside this i'll write area of triangle with base so now what is our base with base is equal to now base is stored in our value underscore one plus with base and height height is stored inside our value two variable so right here value underscore two plus in brackets is and then we'll display the area so now area is stored inside my area variable okay so in this way you'll display the statement or the area of triangle if you found this difficult you can directly write your area of triangle is and then directly write plus area okay but to understand what actually the base is and height is i have mentioned this way because we are accepting the same values right value and value 2 for the triangle as well as rectangle so now we have done with our triangle class also the same code i'll copy and paste it into our rectangle class okay so now formula for area of rectangle so for rectangle also we'll need two values first is the length and second one is the bread bread okay so here the formula is just we have to remove 1 by 2 and our formula is ready so area of rectangle width instead of base now its length is equal to value 1 and bread is nothing but value 2 okay and area will remain same because we have created the same variable so now we have done with our all the three classes now we'll be working on our main method which is inside our as public assign uh, class assignment underscore four so here i'll create my public static void main method public static void main inside this i'll have the string array and then now here we'll be creating the objects okay so now uh, uh, here we have to create the object or to implement a dynamic binding so which means that the same method we are calling using the object or the reference variable of our base class so for that we have to create the object of our shape class or the reference variable not the object you can call it as shape uh, reference variable okay so now here i have created the object or the reference variable of my shape class now using this i can call the methods which are inside the shape class as well as inside the derived class okay so first here i'll uh, be calculating the area of my triangle right okay wait a minute so here first we'll create the object of a triangle class also so triangle t triangle t is equal to new triangle which will call the default constructor of our triangle class t r i a okay so now what i'll do is i'll assign the value of this reference variable uh, I mean, I'll assign the value to this S variable with my T object of my triangle class. Okay, so if you found this difficult, what you can do is you can replace these three statements with a single statement, which is shape S or shapes T, you can write it as is equal to new T R I A N G L E triangle and then this. Okay, so in this way, you can replace these three statements okay basically here we have created the reference variable s of our shape class then we have created the object of our triangle class 
and using uh, value of this triangle class object we have assigned it to our reference variable now using this object you can call the methods which are present inside your shape class as well as in your uh, what you can say triangle class okay so here s dot input s dot compute area so this way also it will work or you can write here the separately right t dot input t dot compute area okay so this way also you can do it so this is more easy or you can say more understandable instead of this okay you have to create the object and then you have to assign it so it becomes a little bit lengthy so but it's better to write in this way okay so now i have created the for triangle now similarly i'll create for my rectangle class okay so now instead of your t i'll write r and instead of triangle constructor i'll write rectangle class constructor and here i have to replace t with r okay so now if you run this it will uh, directly call your input method this then you have to enter value and value 2 which will be accepted for your triangle dimensions for the triangle base and height then it will give you the calculated area of your triangle then after that it will again call this input method it will have the take the input values from you which will be now for the rectangle class okay length and breadth and then it will uh, call this method and it will execute the area of rectangle okay so but uh, okay i'll show you Okay, so I'll first save this, save, run, and now see it is asking for me to enter value one. So if I entered suppose twenty, and then if I entered suppose uh, ten, so now it is giving me the area of triangle with base. So first value will be base, and second value will be height is nothing but zero. How it is giving zero? Have we done some mistakes? in our formula area of triangle okay so we'll write here 0.5 okay now we'll check so 20 10 yes now it's giving me the correct formula right 20 into 10 is nothing but 200 and half of it is nothing but 100 so this is correct now it is asking for me to enter value 1 for the rectangle class so if i have entered here suppose uh, 40 into uh, 20 so it will give me 800 which is 40 into 20 which is nothing but 800 which is the area of rectangle okay so this uh, looks something uh, clumsy so now we'll uh, Modify or beautify it using our switch cases. Okay, so now here I'll create my variable. Okay, so if you do this much only of the program, then also it is fine. But if you want to beautify your program or to make it as menu driven, you can perform these steps. What are now I'm performing? Okay, so here I'll create one variable in choice. Then I'll create the object my of my scanner class is equal to new scanner system dot n okay so now here i'll be making use of my do while loop so here i'll display the menus so system dot out dot print ln and inside this i'll write uh, choose the shape for which you want to calculate calculate area okay so it's just a string okay so here also i'll uh, add new line okay okay so now after this i'll give the menus that is for rectangle and triangle the system dot out dot print ln uh, then i'll give my first choice as triangle triangle right then second choice i'll give it as for rectangle and our third choice will be for 
exit okay so these are the values now after this we have to take the input from the user what what he wants actually so for that i'll write here system dot out dot print and inside this i'll write enter your choice enter your choice then user will enter his choice which will be stored inside our choice variable which we have declared in our main method here okay so choice is equal to sc dot next we have declared it as int so we'll write here next int okay so now i have the choice along with me so now i'll switch that choice so here i'll write switch and the variable which is choice and inside this we'll have the cases so basically we have here three cases so first case i'll write it as case one so if user enter one then what i have to do i have to call or the calculate area for triangle so for that whatever the code we have written here i'll paste that inside my case one okay case one so here uh, we know that the value one is for base second value is for height but how the user will know so for that we'll write here one statement system dot out dot print ln and inside this we'll write accepting values so inside this we'll have a value one we'll write here value one is equal to base and value two is nothing but your height okay for triangle triangle and then user will be able to understand that yes we have to enter the values value 1 which is nothing but base so we have to enter the value for base value 2 is nothing but height so we have to enter the value for height okay similarly now i'll uh, write this for the rectangle class so before that don't forget to write your break statement then write your case 2 okay now here uh, i'll paste this statement itself so now this will work for our rectangle first. so here i'll write accepting values value 1 will be length and value 2 will be breadth for rectangle okay and then i'll paste the code whichever we have written here for rectangle okay then inside after this i'll write break statement i'll cut this code Okay. now case 3 is for exit so case 3 and here i'll just display one statement system dot out dot print ln uh, successfully exited okay and i'll write the break statement and i'll write the default case so if a uh, user don't enter one two or three if he entered other that is four five six then it should have uh, it should get some default message so for that i'll write here default system dot out dot print ln invalid input invalid input please try again okay okay so we have done with our switch cases now we'll write here our stopping condition so that is while condition while my choice is not equal to 3 because for 3 we have given the exit so if uh, as soon as user enters 3 or this loop or this execution of the statement should stop okay so this is what about the menu driven program or we have converted our program into a menu driven program now if i run this program okay so now if i run this So see now it is asking me to choose the shape for which you want to calculate area. So I want to calculate the area for triangle. So I'll enter here 1. So now it is showing me that accepting values. So value 1 is nothing base. Value 2 is nothing but height for triangle. So here value 1 base. So I'll give it base as 50. Value 2 which is nothing but the height. So I'll give it as height for uh, height as suppose uh, 10. And now it is showing me the area of triangle with base 50 and height 10 is 250. So 50 into 100 is 500 and half of that is nothing but 250. So it is correctly shown. 
Similarly, if I want to calculate the area for rectangle, then I'll give you a choice as to your accepting values. So value one is nothing but your length. Value two is nothing but breadth for rectangle. So value one, I'll enter here as suppose uh, 30 and value two, which is breadth, I'll enter it as five. So 30 into five, nothing but 150. Okay, so it is also showing me the length value, breadth value and the area value. And if I've entered any other values, so from this, that is one, two, three, along. Uh, okay, so if I've entered one, two, it's correctly. And if I've entered any values other than this, one, two, three, then I'll get the default case value. So if I've entered 15, so it is showing me that invalid input, please try again. Now, if I've entered three, so it is showing me that successfully exited. Okay, so this is what we have to do for our this practical. So if you don't want to in, uh, implement this switch in the form of switch case or minute driven program, it's okay. You can directly write this code and just these three lines. Then also it's okay, but uh, for the user, it makes confusion actually what the values are. So to clear that confusion, you can write the minute driven program. Okay, so I'll explain or summarize this uh, assignment. So in the problem statement, they have defined that we have to create a base class shape which will have two double type values which is nothing but double is nothing but the data type data type of that values will be double and member functions to input the data and compute uh, compute area for calculating area of shape so basically we'll have two values which uh, which will have the double as a data type and member functions which will have uh, two member functions so first is to take the input and second one is the compute area for calculating area of shape so they don't give the uh, they haven't given the name for the method which will accept the input so for that we have created our own uh, method that is input okay so we have given our own name so now next they have uh, tell us to implement that we have to derive two classes triangle and rectangle and make compute area as abstract function and redefine this function in the derived class to suit their requirements Write a program that accepts dimensions of triangle or rectangle and display compute, uh, calculated area. Implement dynamic binding for given case study. Okay, so first we have to create the base class. So we have created a base uh, class which is shape. Inside that we have to take two double values. So I have taken value one and value two, which will have the data type as double. Then we have to in include two member functions or the methods. First is to input the data. So for that I have given the name as input. They haven't mentioned to in, uh, make this method as a compute area or what so we have keep it as it is so if they have asked us to create this as an abstract method also then we have to write the abstract keyword in front of this and here we have to write the semicolon and this code will be included inside the individual derived classes okay so if they have mentioned in their case then it is more easy for us to understand but still they haven't uh, given us so we have implemented in this way so here in the input method we have to take the input for these values so for that we need the scanner class so i have imported the scanner class and then i have created the object of our scanner class which is sc then i have displayed the statement which will ask the user to enter value one then it will be stored into value underscore one variable similarly for value two it will be stored in value underscore two so this is the code for your input method okay and these same values will be used to calculate the area of your triangle and rectangle okay so that you have to keep in mind then second they have asked us to make the compute area method as an abstract function so that's why we have written your abstract keyword in front of our return type and the method name and in abstract method you have to remember that we don't write the method body inside the abstract method we just declare the method so see here we, ha uh, we haven't include this curly braces okay so we have just declared our method that is the return type and what if they have the parameters then we'll include that parameters inside our this parenthesis but uh, as of now we don't have any parameters so that's why i have uh, keep uh, kept them blank and we have to remember that if you are including any method as an abstract then the class should be the abstract only otherwise you'll get an error so that's why we have to make your shape class or the base class an abstract okay so this is about your shape class i hope this is clear now we'll move to our second class which is triangle and rectangle so they have asked us to derive two classes so for deriving purpose we use the extend keywords so basically this is nothing but your inheritance so class the name of your class extends and which class it is extending so it is extending to our base class or the shape class okay so now they have also mentioned that we have to implement or write a program 
or redefine this function into the derived classes okay derived classes to suit their requirements this compute area single method will be used to calculate the area of triangle as well as rectangle so for that for triangle uh, in the triangle class we have written here void compute area and then we have created one variable which is also of double type so it will store the computed area of our triangle so formula for the area of triangle is half into base into height so uh, while we are taking 1 by 2 it is giving us error so we have to write the double value so that's why i have written here 0.5 okay so area is equal to 0.5 or half into base so base is nothing but our value 1 height height is nothing but our value 2 and just i am displaying that in the form of print ln statement so here i am displaying area of triangle with base so base will be here concatenated so base will be nothing but your value 1 plus and then again i am concatenating this string which is and height is equal to value 2 and plus is nothing but your area so area will be displayed here if we found this statement as difficult you can simply write it as system dot out dot print ln and you can directly write here as area of triangle is and you can directly concatenate it with your area variable okay so this is simple if you found this concatenation difficult okay so now similarly we have to do for our rectangle class so we have extended it to our shape class redefine our compute method which is abstract in the shape class then again the variable i have used the same double area area just the formula is changed for rectangle we need length and breadth and the multiplication of those values will give us the area of rectangle so area is equal to value 1 and value 2 so i have just printed here area of rectangle with length length now here will be value 1 breadth will be value 2 and area is displayed okay so this is about your three classes that is shape which is your base class triangle and rectangle are your derived classes now we are working on our main method so where we have created our uh, menu driven program or you can say the switch case program so here for that i have created the int choice variable and scanner object scanner class object with name sc then i have used do while loop so inside this i am displaying the statement that choose the shape for which you want to calculate area so then i am giving the choices that is triangle rectangle or exit so i'll store whatever the user will enter into this choice variable okay either user will enter one two or three so that will be stored inside this choice variable then i'll switch i'll be switching this choice using switch keyword and then inside this i'll be pass my switch variable uh, choice variable and then it will have three cases so case one is nothing but your triangle so for that i am writing here the statement as accepting values value one is nothing but base value two is nothing but height for triangle okay and then i am creating here the object or object of my triangle class but i am assigning that to my reference variable of shape class okay so here i have written the shape shape the name of my base class then object and then new keyword to create the object and this is nothing but the constructor of my triangle class okay now using this i will call the method which will be inside my shape class or triangle class so inside this shape we have the input method so i'll call that then we'll have the input values value 1 and value 2 and then depending upon that we'll call the compute area method okay so that this will display the area of triangle similarly we have done for our rectangle class so here we have created the object with name r and call the constructor of a rectangle class so which is default constructor and using this object i have called the method input and compute area so here you can see that the same methods are used to calculate the area of different shapes so this is nothing but your dynamic binding or runtime polymorphism the same function will be used to perform different tasks this is nothing but your polymorphism and here you are creating the uh, reference variable of shape class and then you are creating the object of your triangle class and then that object you are assigning to your reference variable so that is nothing but you are doing at the runtime okay so your compiler will not be involved in this your java virtual machine or jvm jvm will be involved in this runtime polymorphism okay so that you have to keep in mind or you can just uh, look out the article for the runtime polymorphism dynamic binding or what actually the polymorphism is okay so i will not go into that much deep 
so the third case is for your exit so i'll just display the successful exited uh, statement and i have written the break and if the user enters something some values other than this one two three then it should uh, this default case will be executed so here i have written invalid input please try again and then i have to give the stopping condition or the while condition so i have given that choice is not equal to three until and unless the user enters three this execution of the statements or this uh, loop will continue to run okay so this is about this assignment so the output we have already seen but still i'll show you again so here if you run this you'll uh, see this menu then you will ask to enter your choice then triangle then it is asking you to enter the value 1 which is nothing but your base value 2 is nothing but your height and it is displaying the area of triangle similarly goes for the rectangle and exit and the invalid input okay so this is about this assignment so if you have any doubt or if you got any error let me know in the comment section so for this assignment what are the main things you have to keep in mind is if you are creating the abstract method then you don't have to write the method body you have to just declare that method and inside which class you are declaring that method as abstract that class should also be abstract so this things you have to keep in mind then uh, yeah third is the abstract methods whatever you are declaring that should be implemented in the derived classes if you don't write here uh, compute area method you'll get error okay so for this class it is giving me error so here it is showing me that the type triangle must implement the inherited abstract method shape dot compute underscore area so this is the thing that you have to keep in mind okay so we have done it minute one if you found this difficult you can directly write this statement three statements and then directly this three statements okay then also it is fine we have just used make use of switch cases to beautify our program and the user will be able to understand it easily so that's it for this assignment if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section do check out the videos for the previous lab assignments and the description for once so in the description i'll update the oral questions for this assignment which you can use for your reference so thanks for watching we'll see in the next video keep till then keep practicing keep learning see in the next video